Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus, and I'm just going to shut the door before I start. It is Tuesday, the 20th of July, 2021, and we are going to do another New York Times hard Sudoku using Snyder notations, which means if we find... Oh, I need to charge my keyboard. That's not what it means, but once I plug in my keyboard, so it charges, I can explain Snyder notations, which is basically a technique where we look at the numbers one by one. And um, if there are two candidates in a box, we're going to pencil mark them in. If there are more than two candidates, for example, here, we've got five different candidates. We'll leave it alone, basically. Um, we're going to deal with it later. If we have less than two candidates, it basically means we've solved the number within the box because there's only one place for the number to go. And yes, that was a visual cue that I had to sneeze just now and I managed to mute just in time, thankfully. Anyway, um, let's carry on. I may bounce around a little bit with my pencils and um, confirmations based on what I see. For example, I noticed the nines are quite in abundance in this puzzle, so I just wanted to fill in what I can. And that's all the nines um, either placed with a single position or pencil marked in with two positions, basically. So why don't we have a look at the eights as well, because I can certainly see some pencil markings up there, but there's nothing else. Three, I've got a pair of threes here and here, but three is on its own. So one of the things I like to do is um, when I have a number that is soloed on the grid, I look at where they can go, basically. So I've got a three here and I've got a pointing pair of threes and a pointing pair of threes. That means all of these cells sees the number three and um and what i like to do is basically look around and see if um, there's a naked single along these lines um but i'm feeling a bit skeptical about it today because at a quick glance i can't see any naked singles oh hang on what about here one two three five four five oh i'm missing a seven as well so so missing six and seven here. Okay, that's fine. We're going to come back to it. Um, if I can't quickly deduce any naked singles, I like to move on basically. So that's what I'm doing and see if there are more interesting pencil markings that I can make. For example, there's a five there, thanks to these two fives, locking a two and a five down. Now, does a two do anything for me? Gives me a pair of twos over here because roll two and three are taken. So that forms what's called a matching pair of twos and eights. So that means these two cells can't have any more numbers. Otherwise, I'll have a two or an eight locked in the same cell, which is impossible. So it's always good to have a quick look. Um, so for instance, if there are any numbers overseeing this cell, um, these three cells, that means they're locked in here. For example, the seven are now locked. In those two cells but more importantly the sevens also locked in these two cells forming a matching pair or pointing pair even so a pointing pair basically means if there was a seven here i'll have nowhere for the seven to go in this box so that solves a seven over here why don't we do more pencil marking on the sevens so the sevens on rows three and no four and six locks a seven down there um sevens are here as well which means the final sevens are in these positions and I'm just left with two sevens in those two kind of firm boxes basically. Right, getting a bit sniffly today. Um, why don't we finish up pencil marking this um, box because we've just got a four and a sixes here forming a four six seven triple. The advantage of that is because they're all lined up it means only two numbers left on this um, on this roll. And I know they have to be ones and threes um, because ones and threes can't go in any of these three cells or it will interrupt 
my triple. So the one and three in place, I've got four and eight. So they have to go in this formation because of the eight. So we can look at the fours some more and maybe the eights as well. Yes, eights are over here. And I think that's all I can do in this box. So we're going to move on to these two cells on this row is also restricted to just three and six. And I've got six down there. So three and six are placed. And these are ones and fours. OK, that's pretty, pretty successful, I will say. So why don't we carry on with the fours to see if we can do more? Fours, no. Can't see anything else on the fours. What about the fives? Nothing on fives. Sixes, perhaps? Yes, we have a six over here because of the sixes on rows eight and nine. Unlocks a six and a four, which means I have a four up here because this four and that four blocks these four cells, leaving me a four and eight matching pair. But the four is here, so the eight is solved as well. Hold on a second. Oh, I've broken the puzzle, actually. That is definitely a four, but the eights, that can't be an eight. So I don't know why I placed the eight there. Oh dear, oh dear, what have I done? Why don't we delete some numbers? No, the four, fours are still correctly restricted there, but we need to have a think about this. The fours are definitely there. It's not eight, it's fours and sixes. So they solve as such. So it's still kind of similar to the four and eight, but it's, an, it's a six instead of a four. So pointing pair of fours there, right? No, it's not. Oh, I don't know how much of that I caught with the with the mute. Um, so it's that's to a pair of eights. No, there aren't eight. So let's hope I've not gone too far down the rabbit hole and I can still solve this puzzle. Let's hope. OK, let's have a look. Two, 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 four, six, five, seven. OK, sevens. There's a seven here. Thanks to these two sevens and that seven. So that does not lock a four in there because there's still no fours on that row. So I don't know what I was doing. I have no idea what I did, but I'm hoping that I fixed it. So if I have, then these are sixes. Um, sevens are still restricted as normal. Eight. Hi, hi, Larry. Hi, Jojo Gaming. You have a six in box eight. Looking at pencil marks on two, box eight. Um. Oh, I do have. Um. Oh yeah. This can't be a six, but also these are sixes as well because of the six. So there's a four six matching pair there. So that that has to be a triple. I'm really hoping. I don't know if you came in like before after I made the mistakes. So I'm hoping that um, this is still fine and I've not messed up the puzzle. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, so anyway, with a two, three, five triple at the bottom in this box, I have a pair of ones and ones and eights, not resolvable. Okay. So we're going to move on. Seven, eights. I don't think eights can do anything. So nines are still fresh. So six in box nine. Oh, there's a six here. Oh my God. Why am I being kind of like, why am I unable to see the sixes. Thank you for that. That leaves me some sixes over there. This is no, 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 no. Okay. So I think that's what we're supposed to have. Um, I still have a one eight matching pair there. So we, we're going to leave that. But do the new sixes do the four and sixes? Yes, the four is now locked in here. Thanks to these two fours. So this is um two three eight triple on the column. So this must be three and eight because I've got two there. Um which means I can't solve it. This is one three and five. I can't solve that yet. So anyway, we've done a round of notations. Hopefully, again, hopefully, <laughs> I haven't made a mistake. I haven't like made a mistake bad enough to lock me out of the puzzle. And I like to look at um, weak areas. 
So for instance, we have a triple here, which are three, five, and eight. Can't see any of the three numbers. Um, this is a, no, this is a quintuplet. So we don't want to deal with those. What about the rows? We have a quadruple here, six, nine, three, and five. So I've got five and six there. So this is three and nine, three and six, five and nine, three and six. Um, yep, that's no use. So that's another quadruple, which is two, three, six and seven. Three, six and seven are there. So if I'm not mistaken, this must be a naked two. Right? Because I'm missing two, three, six. Oh no, I have got a six. Two, three, two, three, seven and nine. And I've got three, seven and nine. So that's still valid. That has to be a two because I've got the other three numbers. So with the two in place, I know the twos must be on this row now, thanks to the pointing twos and the two there, and nothing going on there. This is now a triple of, wait a second, wait, 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 it's not nine, is it? I've got the nine. Two, three, sorry, two, three, five. Oh, that, that changes things entirely. So let's get rid of the twos. Keep making mistakes today. It's two, three, five, and seven. And I've got two, three, five, and se I've only got three and seven, so this is two and five. What is going on with me today? Why am I making so many mistakes? Um, I know the twos are in these two cells because of this two and a pointing two. So I think I'm I'm just going to do another round of notations to see if there's anything else that I can find because um, I don't think I can get much out of this. I've got threes here because of this three, so the threes are locked. No, in these two cells, thanks to the three there, pointing threes and pointing threes at the bottom. Three, 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 anything else on the threes? No, fours, four is locked in here now, thanks to these two fours, that unlocks the two and the nine, providing they are correct. So one and four is also unlocked up there, which means these are pointing pair of ones. I have three here on this column, and these are now threes. And these are in fact three, five, and eight, I haven't got five and eight here though. So we're going to move on. Three, five and eight on this column as well. Okay. Anything else interesting going on here? Hi, Gooplet. How are you? Thank you for the luck last night. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, what was her name? I can't remember now. The person that I raided who's Scottish, which in my opinion, sexiest accent on earth um but um what was i going with that with the raft game so i hope it wasn't too confusing but i think she raided not long after i raided as well so it was an adventure wasn't it um five 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 how are you doing by the way i hope you're a little less i don't know melty than i am i can f i can feel the room temperature rising here, I've got, somehow, I've got 26.3 degrees Celsius in my bedroom right now, so I'm hoping it's going to stay that way for the rest of the day and not hit, like, nearly 31 degrees last night when I was streaming. Um, fives, not much going on the fives. What about a sixes? Six. Can't see any sixes. Sevens. Sevens are locked down. Eights. Oh, wow. We still don't have a solution to the puzzle. We've not done it yet. Oh, hang on. This can't be a nine anymore. So if my pencil markings are not mistaken, that must be a nine. So all the nines are done. I'm going to celebrate by rewarding myself with a bit of tissue. Oh no, sorry to hear that, Jojo. But don't worry at all. I quite, I'm quite happy to kind of like do the morning sudokus myself anyway, so don't you worry too much. Um, well, I should probably be asleep for sure. Oh God, yeah, you're in America, aren't you? So why are you still up? Um, okay, I can't have three, nine and six here. And I know three, nine and six are some of the numbers. So this must be a five. This must be a five because I'm looking for three, five, six. Uh, oh no, it's not nine. Three, five, six and eight. Three, six. So this is five and eight. God damn it. So still can't use it. I think we're going to pencil mark in the five and eight in this box 
so I don't get confused like I did just now. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do with D8, so... But thankfully, now I have only 23 degrees in your lounge. Well, I hope you're able to firefight the IT problems um, in the comfort of your 23 degrees Celsius lounge. Because oh, IT nightmares are not nice. Yeah, I hope it's not too bad. I'll tell you what is too bad. I still can't solve anything. But let's have a look at this cell because... Can I solve anything here? No, I've got two and eight in here. I feel like I'm a little bit stuck. I feel like I'm a little bit stuck. Because I'm not seeing anything interesting. Mm, what am I missing? Twos, two, 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 two. So one, two, five and eight are here. So this is two and five. I knew that. And this is... 1, 5, and 8. Can't be a can't be um thingy. So this is 3, 5, and 8. Flipping hack. No, this is 5 and 8. Because I've got a 3. Which is not super useful. So now I'm just quickly exploring any numbers. Any cells that has two numbers to see if they are restricted in any particular ways. So I don't think one, one and three is going to give me anything. Seven and six, maybe? Six and seven can't go there. Mm. What is on this column? This is, there are no naked single on this column, are there? What are these? Two, two, three, two, three, five, six, and seven. Hold up a minute. Oh, so this is two and four. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think on this column... Oh, no, there's no five. I've already got five. So isn't that a naked single, then? I can see one, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm oh, missing an eight. So this is two and eight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can't you just give me give me the numbers? Three and seven can't go there. Four and six. Can't go here. Can't go in there, but there are three possible positions. I'm quite desperate now for some naked singles. This is not naked because I can't see one or three or eight. Um, this is still one and eight. What about here? Five, six, eight and three. Three and eight. Oh, hold on. Is this naked? Five, six, three, five, six and eight. I'm missing on this row. I can see three and eight. Oh no, that's not pointing sixes. So, oh, but no. Yeah, I've got a six there, so this can't be a six. So I've got three, six and eight there. This is a naked five. Yes, finally. That gives me an eight. So that gives me another eight here because of the three, five pointing pair. So finally, finally, we have some movements. Got an eight there. So with that eight, we have a pointing pair of eight. Nope. We have an 8, which unlocks a 2, which unlocks a pair of 2s there, I suppose. Um, now, this can't be 1 and 8 anymore, so it's a 1. So these are 2s and 5s. Okay, so does this 1 do anything else? Gives them a pair of 1s there. So this is now 1 and 4 matching pair in this box. So these 4 cells are locked as 2, 3, 5 and 7. This can't be a 5. So it must be a seven because I've got already got two, three, and seven pencil marked in. So the seven gone. That can't be a five, so it must be a two. So it leaves me five and three. That's a weird way of solving it, but we got there in the end. So two and five are there. Hooky doke, hooky doke. Hi Creakers, how are you? Um had a bit of a rough start to this puzzle, but we're finally getting there. So I'm now just cleaning up the pencil markings. Uh, this can't be a six anymore. Six is indeed, god damn it, six is here. So, one, three, and five. So this must be, oh, god damn it. It's still the one, three, five thing, isn't it? This is one and three. Do not love it. One, three, and five. Also not loving it. That's also one, three, and five. But it's specifically, oh, one, three, and five altogether. So if this is one, three, and five. That gives me a one, three, five triple on this roll. So also... Actually, 
the ones are locked in these two sets. But anyway, we've got one three five triple on this row already, so it can't be one three or five. It must therefore be an eight, which I think yeah, I could have I could have solved that sooner. So uh, two and five. So this is now one and three, meaning five is there, three is there, three and one and one and three and one. So that leaves me five and three. And there we go. God, that took longer than I expected, but we got there in the end. We got there in the end. So um, if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. And um, if you find today's video useful, please leave a like below. And uh, if you subscribe, you can role play as one of the numbers on tomorrow's grid. So why don't you do that if you didn't already subscribe? And um, it helped me a lot. And um, since I do this every day, yeah, subscribe and um, count how many times I say the word and tomorrow and put it in the comments below. Not today. Count it tomorrow. Not today. Okay. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. But if you want to see me live on Twitch, I play in a UK time in the mornings around um, quarter to eight every morning. So you can come say hi. Come mock me. Come say hi to me. I'll see you later. See you later. I also do the mini crosswords and other things. So I will be doing more creakers. Don't you worry. So... Bye for now for YouTubes.